Ruben. We're away in Perth on Saturday night. What are your thoughts ahead of that match? Uh, it's a good test. It's a good challenge for the group. Um, obviously, a couple of solid performances from us now, which is nice. Um, I feel like you know we've kind of wrestled the momentum back in our favour, which is good. And you know when you've got momentum, you want to keep your foot on the pedal. So look, we look to travel to Perth in good spirits and in good health, and uh, go over there and put in another solid performance. And yeah, as you said, we come off you know a, a pretty incredible five-one win over the defending premiers, Melbourne City. Um, how, how big was that for the group? Yeah, it was nice. I think, um, like, I think we deserved it. We, we played, you know, some exceptional stuff at times and very clinical in front of goal. Um, I feel the two performances with the ball were very similar. I, I just think it was our front third, um, you know, which was the edge and the difference. Um, and the belief's big in the group, so it's nice, nice to have a week again training and preparing. And um, we know it's a tough challenge. Perth are in good form. Um, they've got some quality players and uh, it's a difficult place to go, but we go there with, with the expectation of getting three points. Um, and Perth, obviously, a team you know very well, having coached there last season, been a player there yourself. Um, I guess, what are you sort of expecting from them and how will it be to go back there? Yeah, look, they're very good at home. It's a, Perth's a, it's a place uh, where the fans get behind their team when they're doing well, and uh, at the moment they're in good form, so I expect it to be a, you know, them like the extra man for them. Um, but the focus is on us, and uh, I keep saying it to the group, there's areas that we can improve. Um, I'm a big stickler for the detail, and so I've been trying to impart as much as I can on the boys in a short uh, period of time and make sure that we're organised and structured and uh, that our processes are sound and um, the attitude and the mentality from the group strong, which is always a good indication of a, of a good performance. It, it kind of feels a little bit like we're settled and we're stable after two good results, but you know, the reality is you're only going into your third game with the club, you know, how, how do you sort of think it's all coming along and, and sort of building under under yourself and Chris? Yeah, it's good. It's a work in progress. I, um, you know, my, my job at the moment and my role, my, you know, the first and foremost at the at the front of my mind is just to give stability to the group, um, to the club, to the to the fans, the members, um, and especially the playing group. I think um, you know they've been through a lot. Change is difficult uh, for everyone, especially footballers in uh, in this type of environment. So it's it's. Uh, it's in my mind that I just want to give some, some stability to the group, um, but I'm also ambitious and I'm, and I'm driven and uh, you know, everything I do, I do um, you know, with full force. And so you know, myself and Queenie and, and also the staff that were already here, Frankie and Graham and everyone, the, the S&C team, you know, our medical team, everyone's been working really hard and pulling together and um, the players are responding at the moment, which is nice and we want to keep that momentum going. Um, after two good results, we're in touching distance of the top six as well. Um, you know, how, how, big, how big, I guess, is the belief within the group right now that we can go and, go and do something this season and have a deep run? Yeah, belief's, um, belief's massive. I think, um, you know, the playing group, they, they know what they're capable of. Um, they've shown that at times this year. So, you know, I don't think their belief ever really wavered. I just think that they, there was a, a part in the season there where we lost our structures and lost our, our processes that probably the team had kind of stuck to early on in the year and now we're getting back to that. So, um, yeah, I'm not really looking at the top six. I'm not really looking at the table, to be honest. I, I said it last week, it's a bit of a cliche, but one game at a time for me at the moment. Um, really focusing on getting to know my players, getting to know my staff um, and making sure that we prepare as best we can. We um, saw a young player in Tommy Waddingham get two goals last week, someone everyone's really excited about. What have you sort of made of him so far? Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a group of young ones here that are... They have the right. Um, they have the right mentality, and, and their eyes are open, and their ears are open, and they're willing to learn, and so that makes them coachable. And for me, that's a, a really nice thing. You know, that's a that's the part of the job probably that I like the most, if I'm honest, is that time with players, especially one on one, um, and trying to get them to their best. Young Tommy last week um, took on some information really well and executed the game plan really well. And um, there's no substitute for putting your heart on your sleeve and going out there and, and being brave. And uh, I think that's why Tommy got his rewards, you know, hard work. So it'll be a similar recipe for him. Obviously, a different scenario. He's up against um, some experienced centre-backs uh, in, in, that Perth have. And um, it'll be a good test for him. As I'm sure you're well aware, Tommy sort of embodies what probably Brisbane Raw want to be all about at the moment. Um, young, young Queensland is shining, you know, on the national stage. Um, I know you've been at both the youth team games since they've started playing competitive matches. You know, I, how many more are there that you can sort of see coming through in years to come, I suppose? 
Yeah, there is. That group's really young, and uh, they're in a in a transition period as well with a bit of instability. So obviously, watching them games has been very difficult. Um, but there's some young talent in that group. Um, they just need some direction and some leadership, and the club's working really hard to try and find find the right people to give them that. But um, yeah, Brisbane's always been a place where it's a it's a huge talent uh, pool. Uh, the state produces quality players, and um, the ones that that grow up here, they know the Queensland spirit, and they live and breathe that. And uh, that's something I'm really big on. We we need to harness that. We need to focus on that. Um, the the fans and members at this club, you know, when they're when they're given something to believe in and something to respond to, they're massive. And um, that Queensland spirit is is very strong.